Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Happy Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. Got a little bit of red coming in today. Big day of earnings. In terms of, well, not a big day of the number of earnings, but NVIDIA announces after the bell. So I'm sure that will have some effect on the market this time tomorrow. Um, NVIDIA has really sold off in the last couple of days. It was, it's at uh, 678. And, uh, Man, it was at like 7.30 or something a couple days ago or last week. So we'll have to see what happens. If we have people that are new, make sure that you review the Mighty 90 course. Make sure you review the Volume Runner courses and the continuation runner courses and also make sure you're paper trading uh, to start off. <clears throat> the uh, Dow is down 74. NASDAQ taking a beating again. It took a big beating yesterday. Minus 113. S&P down 14. For you zero DTE traders, I've been working on starting to track my progress by, you know, I currently do it by week, um, but I'm, and by, um, you know, AM, uh, AM lunchtime power hour, um, start tracking it by day of the week as well. So see if I can get a grasp on. You know, if there is a correlation between as the months go by, what day of the week is good or not good. I don't know that, you know, that probably, probably I don't know if I trade any differently, but I definitely think it's worth looking into. There is the bell. So we are off and running. As always, make sure you know your risk management. Management. Make sure you um, know what you know. What a Going in a, a small position means for you and your account, medium and large. It's all part of developing a risk management strategy. VIX up 4%, up above 16. <clears throat> Personally, I'll be glad when we get through earnings and just have some regular weeks without earnings and Fed speakers and things like that. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to take a look at NVIDIA's strikes and how much they cost. They were all juiced up yesterday.
trade the two days to expiration option chain today for these trades. Oh, yeah, at the money for NVIDIA. One contract going to cost you 3800 bucks. <laughs> wow. Morning, Benji and Sanray, Fast, Disco, Deox, Ken, Jonathan, El Piero, and MRP. Good, good to see you guys in here. Hopefully, we have a nice calm day with the SPX zero DTE trading too. See, looking back, I was just like I mentioned about zero DTE trading um, on when, my Wednesdays in January. My AM iron condors. Six. Right. I was nine and oh on Wednesdays for AM iron condors. And for lunchtime, I was one, two, three, five and oh. Audio's going in and out, huh? All right, can you hear me now fast? How's that? I disconnected and reconnected my Bluetooth. Okay. I was just kind of going over some of my Wednesday or going over my Wednesday zero DTE trades in January. And I did not have a losing trade for either AM or lunchtime iron condors in January. Just was looking at the day of the week. Not to say I'm going to go have no losing trades today. It's just it's my results were for Wednesdays in January. All right, we're getting our second bar. So looking for some big volume and in the same direction. Come on, charts.
Tesla getting some volume here. I don't know if it'll get there though. Looks like Bob is already there. Check toss. It's coming up to a pivot, though. I don't like that. Bob is up three and a quarter percent. Vic's really coming down. Baba's Baba's volume is a little different in Think or Swim, which is interesting, but definitely still got there. We'll see if Baba pulls back any. No real pullback in Baba yet. So far, the S&P hasn't really gone anywhere. Baba just pushing up. Yeah, just it just never really gave a entry. Yeah, I mean, I would have entered if it would have pulled back a little bit. It just didn't get any.
Looking for some mighty 90s here now. Bob, maybe going back a little bit, getting another big bar. There's tons. All right, Baba, I would trade the 75 calls. Build it a buck fifty five. And I would get out of half at buck seventy. Build it a buck seventy. Close half my baba. Let's push up there. Yeah. <clears throat> I would close another Baba at a buck eighty five. Bill at a buck eighty five. Close another close a quarter of Baba. Nice push up. Just what a volume runner should do. Apple's kind of looks like it might want to go higher. Close another Baba at two bucks. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you miss, but uh, sometimes missing allows to get a better fill too. I always tell people, I mean, if you don't get the fill I got, just just adjust it and get in. You know, if you got to adjust it a, a few cents. Yeah, Apple looked like it wanted to go higher. Yes, I mean, oh, it went from it went twenty cents that quick, huh? Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't adjust it twenty cents to get in. But you know, if it was like a a nickel, probably would have.
I could have another uh, Baba at two bucks if I haven't said that yet. Mighty 90s yet that I can see. Baba up four and a, four and a quarter percent. Nestle staying strong. Microsoft staying weak. Baba pausing a little bit. I'm not surprised by that. I mean, and if you if you never got in and it pulls back here a little bit more, it could always be a time to enter. A little bit of two-way action here. We've got some Microsoft staying weak, Tesla pushing up, Netflix staying weak. Future is kind of choppy at the moment. I'm definitely interested to see what type of theta decay they have today and how choppy they are. Um, you know, given that most people are waiting for NVIDIA earnings. Seen a lot of chop from a lot of these stocks. <clears throat> Bob is still coming down a little bit. I originally got it in at a buck fifty five. The price is currently at a buck eighty, roughly. I'm glad I got into Baba because there's just not much going on right now. Roku pushing through highs. Baba's still pulling back. Probably be a good time to get in. Maybe if you didn't get in before, you could see if it comes down a little more towards this pivot. But it's come down about 10 cents since I 
last got filled. Tesla, one of the stronger stocks on the board. Baba is the strongest that I have on my watch list. And do I want to re-enter Baba here? That is the question. It's now come down to my 10% fill at a buck seventy. Nothing yet. Best slow, though, setting up to maybe catch some more upside. If it pulls back a little bit here, I might get in Tesla on a, on a continuation runner. It's going to have to pull back a little bit, though, for me to enter. Okay, so Baba coming back down. It get back gets back down to a buck fifty five. I might consider re entering. If it pushes through this pivot, I probably would bail on it. I definitely don't like seeing two two pullbacks like this on a, on a volume runner. Almost down to where I first entered. How much time's left on this bar? Re-entered at a buck fifty-nine. Same seventy-five calls, buck fifty-nine. So I would get out of half at a buck seventy-five. A little mighty 90 in meta there. I'd like to see a little more volume pop than that. Tesla is pulling back. Tesla, I would trade the 195 calls. at 495 
So playing a little upside continuation here early in Tesla with it being one of the stronger stocks on the board. It comes down to is it yesterday's open, this orange? I, I might add to it. Future's still in chop mode. And I've got an order in at uh, 545 to close half my Tesla in case it pops up. Need a bounce out of Baba. Need a bounce out of Baba. Microsoft trying to come back alive. Like Baba needs to stay above that pivot, though. <clears throat> so definitely seeing a little two-way action here tesla came up to yesterday's high and then got rejected so i just noticed that i don't really like that either All right, Bob is trying to come down below this pivot, which is not what I wanted to see. Hopefully it dips its toe below there and comes right back up. If not, I might cut it. And it really was a great volume runner to start, and it is just Not done what it's supposed to do right now. It needs to needs to get back above that pivot. A lot of stocks pushing up. Build at 545 in Tesla. Close half. Oh yeah, nice push up there. Bob is trying to stay above that pivot. I'll close another Tesla at six bucks. Future is really popping up, gaining some strength. Too bad Bob is not going with him. Built at six bucks. In Tesla.
Nice push up there. Two Tesla's left. Close another one at six fifty. Yeah, Tesla was a continuation runner, correct. Wow, nice big push up in the S and P. Need another little push up to get out of half my Baba. Gonna order it a buck seventy five. Roblox got a big green bar. Roblox always gets big bars both directions, I've noticed. Sometimes it's hard to trade it anymore. Man, Baba coming back down. What are you doing? That is not what you're supposed to do here. Apple looks like it wants to rip higher. I guess B Boeing had a little bit of a mighty 90 here. It's not it's not very big volume though. Ah, Tesla, what are you doing? Boeing? I'm not I'm not Boeing with Baba. Not cooperating. Dick's really coming down. Man, I was like a nickel away from getting out of half my Baba after that ad. It just could have pushed up a little bit. Nice little bounce off that pivot. Just keep bouncing, buddy. You can do it. You can just rip as high as you want to go. Tesla coming back down. It, it's still above where I got in. Man, I don't like seeing it come down like this. Futures pushed up. Now pulling back again. And Baba coming right back down to that pivot again. It's got 45 seconds left.
Oh, good looking mighty nineties today. <clears throat> All right, so Baba needs to needs to reverse here. I don't like that it came back down to that pivot. Need a quick reversal on Bob or I'm going to cut it. Cutting Bob. A little bit of buck 45. To close Bob. That was disappointing. Below that pivot. Tesla's holding on though. Yeah, Baba started off so good. I'll look at it. It's probably going to bounce right back up now. Oh, man. Man, Baba, you rat. Sometimes they do that. Sometimes they will get below a pivot or something and then just be like, yeah, I don't like it down here. But, you know, once it, I've also seen it many times. Once it comes through that pivot, I've seen it then fall real quickly. So you could really get, you can really get caught. In a bad trade if you hang on to it there and that's what it does. Well, I don't think I'm going to trade any more of these strategies. So Tesla, if it comes down much more, I'll probably just cut it. I've only got a couple contracts left. Otherwise, I'll see if it wants to push through highs. So I'm going to turn my focus to zero DTE. And I'll probably give it a few more bars and see what uh, S&P does. But uh, right now, it's kind of... Had this nice push up, so I, I don't want to enter if it's going to push up again. So if it if it wants to consolidate under this pivot, then I'll, I'll probably end up getting in here in the next ten or fifteen minutes. So look for my entry in the live chat channel. I'll catch everybody during power hour.
Have a good one. Peace.